10 most miserable places to live in England. Every living human has the right to a decent living. If prudent management of resources and respect for human dignity is put at the fore of all government policies and programmes, there won't be anyone living in miserable places as there would be no miserable place to live. The attention here is on England that has plenty of glamorous places. Anyone that has ever been to the most miserable places to live in England will develop collar for the affluence of the best places in England. These most miserable places to live in England are essentially the most depressing places to live in England. Let's now analyse the places other people accept or are forced to accept as their home. 10. Harrow We want to start with Harrow, a large town in Greater London which is the main settlement of the London borough of Harrow. It lies about 9.5 miles northwest of Charing Cross and about 5.4 miles south of Watford. In 2012, a popular ranking by the Happy at Home survey, Harrow was included among the gloomiest places to live. Ever since then, it has remained one of the most miserable places to live in England. Rather than improving, the town's newspaper, the Harrow Times, recently listed it among the most depressing places to live in England. Another survey conducted among its residents places it on the bottom of the worst places to live. Similarly, the Office for National Statistics ranked it as the fourth of the most miserable places to live in the UK, considering how tough it is to survive in Harrow on an annual income of under £60,000. 9. Doncaster The next one of the most miserable places to live in England is Doncaster, a large town in South Yorkshire. The Minster town named after the River Don flowing through it is the principal settlement of the metropolitan borough of Doncaster. The market town is also the second largest in South Yorkshire. People who live in Doncaster are the ones who voted it to the rank of the top 10 worst places to live in the UK for consecutive years. In a survey of the towns in South Yorkshire, Doncaster was ranked as the most dangerous. Among the 110 cities, towns and villages in the area, Doncaster is among the top 20 most dangerous. In a recent year, it was voted as the overall second worst place in Britain. The overall crime rate in 2020 was 128 crimes per 1,000 people. It's indeed one of the most depressing places to live in England and the UK. 8. Ipswich Ipswich, a large port town and borough in Suffolk, is another one of the 10 most miserable places to live in England. Ipswich in East Anglia is a county town located 10 miles from the mouth of the River Orwell and the North Sea. It is also 67 miles away from London North East, 45 miles southeast of Cambridge, 40 miles south of Norwich. The crime rate in Ipswich is as bad as 100 crimes to 1,000 people. Moving around the central parts of the town where crime often occurs, you'd see that it is one of the most depressing places to live in England. Even though it has one of the fastest growing economies in the UK, thanks to the reinvention in its popular waterfront region and the introduction of the University of Suffolk, it remains relatively the most deprived area in Suffolk. 7. Burnley Burnley, a town in Lancashire, 21 miles north of Manchester and 20 miles east of Preston, is another one of the most miserable places to live in England. The town at the confluence of the River Brun and the River Calder is known for the manufacturing and aerospace industries. However, that hasn't taken it out of the list of the most depressing towns in England. As of 2019, over 8,829 children in Burnley were regarded as living in poverty, almost half within the town, after housing costs. Figures from Burnley are among the highest in the northwest. 6. Hartlepool Hartlepool, the largest settlement and administrative centre of its borough, also attracts our attention. This large port town in County Durham is also among the most miserable places to live in England. The town, which has been a major seaport since it was founded, also has a long fishing heritage. However, the media cannot be all wrong about Hartlepool as it always gets bad press. The authorities need to give more attention to the town that receives a lot of visitors so that they can return to their base with a positive impression of the residents. Hartlepool and its surrounding areas have lost many industries. Consequently, its economy is suffering to the extent that about 37.8% of Hartlepool's children live in poverty. As a result, Hartlepool has become the second most dangerous major town in Durham. 5. Scunthorpe 
An industrial large town, Scunthorpe in the Unitary Authority of North Lincolnshire is also one of the most miserable places to live in England. As the UK's largest steel processing centre, the town also known as the Industrial Garden Town has many reasons to be off this list. One of the complaints from the residents is indiscriminate, albeit unintentional, blocking of websites, blogs, emails, forum posts and search results because their text contains a string or substring of supposedly obscene or otherwise unacceptable letters. Besides, according to the data released by End Child Poverty, 46.4% of children in Scunthorpe are growing up in poverty. That's about an estimated 900 children. 4. Dudley Another market town among the 10 most miserable places to live in England is Dudley. It is the administrative centre in the county of West Midlands. Dudley lies 6 miles southeast of Wolverhampton and 10.5 miles northwest of Birmingham. Also known as the Black County due to the mid-19th century smoke from many thousands of ironworking forges and others, the exclave of Worcestershire is among the least prosperous areas in the UK. A recent report ranked it the 39th least prosperous area in the UK. Of more serious concern is the fact that it's being the third most dangerous major town in the West Midlands. Out of the 44 cities, towns, villages there, it is among the top 10 most dangerous overall. The recent crime rate in Dudley is 103 crimes per 1,000 people. 3. Blackpool The large seaside resort of Blackpool is also among them. It is the primary settlement in the borough of Blackpool. The town by the Irish Sea in the northwest coast is the third on this list of the most miserable places to live in England. It is located 15 miles west of Preston, 27 miles north of Liverpool, 28 miles northwest of Bolton and 40 miles northwest of Manchester. In the ceremonial county of Lancashire, Blackpool is the most dangerous major town. Out of the 241 cities, towns and villages in Lancashire, Blackpool is the second most dangerous overall. The most recent overall crime rate in the town was 131 crimes per 1,000 people. This makes Blackpool the third most dangerous major town in the UK. 2. Luton The second among the most miserable places to live in England is Luton. The large town is a borough and unitary authority in Bedfordshire. The town on the River Lee, about 30 miles north of London, is the most populous in Bedfordshire. In fact, it is one of the UK's most populous towns without city status. The town, once famous for hat making and a large Vauxhall Motors factory, now experiences low employment rates and low incomes together with a high cost of living. This breeds crime, which makes the town the most dangerous in Bedfordshire. Out of 127 cities, towns and villages in Bedfordshire, Luton is among the top 20 most dangerous overall. The most recent crime rate in the town was 85 crimes per 1,000 people. 1. Corby On this list, the most miserable place to live in England is Corby, a town in North Northamptonshire located 23 miles northeast of Northampton. The town that has always been famous for ironworking since time predating the Roman era is struggling with low pay and high cost of living. Such economic challenges will make any town one of the most depressing places to live in England. For sure, the crime statistics define Corby as the most dangerous major town in Northamptonshire. Out of the 272 cities, towns and villages in the area, Corby is among the top 20 most dangerous with the recent crime rate of 106 crimes per 1,000 people. As far back as 2017, Corby has been on a regular list as the unhappiest place to live in Britain with one in five children there living in poverty. Living in any of these 10 most miserable places to live in England by no means makes the resident less English than other English living in England. It only underscores the fact that more attention is needed in other places that the government is not focusing on. Please tell us if you know other places more miserable than the 10 mentioned here in the comments section. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell.